Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, let's look at how to fix a fatal error window that pops up while trying to launch the H2 game. The fatal error usually occurs if your PC does not have the required system configuration expected for this game. Now, to check this, you can open your browser and go to this link. Then scroll down. And under system requirements, you should be able to find the minimum and the recommended settings for this game. And to find the information on your PC, go to search area of the taskbar and type settings. Scroll down, click on about. Here you should be able to find the RAM information, the processor and the OS 64 or 32 bit OS. And to find the GPU information, click on DX DIAG the search area of the taskbar and click on the first cell. Now this might take a while to load up. Alright, so click on display 2 or display 1 depending on your PC and here you should be able to find the information about your graphics card and the total memory that's available. And to find the storage space you can just open this PC and see whichever drive has space to install the game. Now if you still do have the configuration and you are unable to launch then let's look at method 2 on how to fix this issue. The fatal error might also occur if your GPU does not support DirectX 12. Now we need to enable DirectX 11 to see if that fixes the issue. Now to do this open this PC open C folder, Windows folder and scroll down to find the system32 folder use the search option to find D3, D12 DLL file and D3, D12 core DLL file copy these two files next open you need to open the game folder and open the ship folder here and paste these two DLL files now you need to rename this DLL file to d3 d12 underscore original next open your browser and go to this github link and click on this first item and download the file once the file is downloaded, just extract, copy the first D3, D12, DLL file and again paste it in the ship folder. Once you followed all these steps, relaunch Steam and try to see if now that fixes the issue. So that's it for this video. Hope the method shared in this video was useful for you. Until next video, thank you and bye bye.